against it. You're welcome. I figured you were just looking at a wall mount for your TV. When you showed it for me the other day, I just bought you this. And I was like, oh, maybe you should wait a little bit. And it's a fire stick one. Yep. Nice. Buy a TV. Thank you. I was just going to get you a fire stick. And then I saw this and I was like, I thought, it's just know, so much I'm better. Saying. Thank you, Nana. You're welcome. I like this. It's nice and thick. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Yeah. I hope it fits. It's only an extra life. It should. Just don't dry it. Yeah, don't yeah. put it in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Found the spot. Comfy, Bobby. The tail's going. Oh, no, Bubba. Hello, my wicked awesome peeps. Merry Christmas. It is now 10, 12 p.m. on Christmas night. And this is literally the first time I've gotten a chance to sit down and vlog for you guys. Uh, it's been a crazy, busy, amazing couple of days. Um, I survived Christmas 2022. That in itself feels like <clears throat> an accomplishment. Um, yeah. I know this sounds like I'm rambling because I'm probably a little bit emotional and it's late. I'm very under sleep deprived. There we go. I'm very sleep deprived. Looking much forward to going to bed and not waking up to an alarm tomorrow. And so help me gosh, you know that I will wake up before, you know, probably two hours before I normally would. Or even like an hour before I normally want to get up for work. I'm like, you know, I usually get up at like 8, 8.30. I always try to get up by like 7.38. But it's like 8, 8.30. I gotta squeeze that extra hour in wherever I can. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Yesterday morning, um, I got up. We did lots of last minute um, stuff. Sorry. I was rapping for like two days straight in between trying to clean my house so that I could get dirty today. Um, I cleaned, I had to go to a grocery store on Christmas Eve. Um, I don't think I've ever actually been into a store on Christmas Eve ever in my whole life. Maybe like a CVS, um, but not like an actual store store. So being in the grocery store and 
seeing that people were not like bah humbug and get out of my way I was like huh all right like it's Christmas Eve and these people are like being courteous and you know just being good humans in general um and I was I was pleasantly surprised um I went home did some more cleaning got ready uh, went to my grandma's house, which she's usually a good 45 minute ride for me. Yeah, it took me like an hour and 15 minutes, an hour, yeah, probably an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Um, so, and of course I was running late to start with because I'm America and that's what I do. Hence why we're having this conversation, um, on the night of Christmas instead of whenever we should have uh, and hopefully by now you've seen all those videos and I've gotten them up I know they're late and again with the who would we be if we weren't us I'm late um, but I am my full intention tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up I have probably a couple hours of work I have to do um, I have a report I need to make sure it's done and handed in like ASAP so um and it just needs to be typed it's already printed anyway um so I'm gonna do that and then I have a bunch of vlogmases that actually are edited and ready to go I just legitimately have not had time to post them and at I think what day 18 I think was posted so day 19 was done I was in the middle of posting it and my laptop died like Christmas Eve morning or whenever it was and I was like yep I don't have time to go find the plug yeah I know because sometimes my laptop also films mass Mondays so occasionally the cord will end up in the kitchen on Monday and that's what happened it got stuck there on Monday and I really haven't had much time to use my, pers my personal laptop so I I didn't anyway Sorry, I was rambling again. Um, yeah, so super busy. Um, I'm going to edit. I'm going to get the ones that I have already to go. I'm going to get them up right away. And then I have, I think, the 23rd, the 24th and the 25th to do. And in all fairness, that there weren't a whole lot of pictures. Um... There were a couple of videos, not too much, uh, and not very much vlogging for me because I suck. But today's contact day number two, yesterday, if you saw yesterday's video, you will see that it took me 13 minutes and six seconds to put two contacts in. Um, I wasn't so bad last night going to bed. They were pretty okay. One of them... I had a little bit of trouble with it, but not too bad. Um, and then today, it took me two minutes and 24 seconds, and I was so damn proud of myself. I was like, I was yelling. I'm like, woohoo! I'm like, first one was in and under a minute, 10 seconds. And Devin's like, congratulations, go you. He's like, now get the other one in. And it went in quickly. So I was like, yeah, I took a picture and screenshot it. <laughs> So, that was an improvement from yesterday, my 13 minutes it took me. Um, they're definitely not exactly right, and I look weird to me. Um, I realized, and I think I said this in yesterday's video, I'm not really sure. Um, that glasses hid the bags under my eyes. So now I feel like you can see when I look like, holy hell, not, not that they look great now, but I'm exhausted and impaired. So, uh, contact wears men, great, love it. I wish I could talk. I have to go back in a week and see him. Um, the dis the distance needs to be adjusted because I can see in a distance. Like I don't know in the house. But like when I'm out in the car and it's dark out, I have trouble seeing like the street signs. Uh, that's not really gonna work for me. 
I mean, the base, the rest of it, you know, I kind of, I know what I'm doing, you know, got to just do it. Like, so, anyway, oh my God, I was going to open a, oh, I have been dying. Actually, I wanted to do it with Sherry, but it's just not going to work. So, I'm here with glass and with a Christmas present. So I was so excited about doing peppermint shops this Christmas that everybody knew I was in search of peppermint um, schnapps. So my brother scored with this, and this is actually like too big of a glass, like, but it's rumples and it's so good. And it's like 100 proof. So girl's gonna have another shot. I had one earlier. Um, I'm gonna ha have some, I'm gonna sip it. I'm not gonna shove it, but I said I was gonna do it. I never get to drink because I always have to drive on Christmas day. And usually I have to work the next morning. So I never get to have a drink. I just wanted to have a drink on Christmas. Look at my Christmas lights and, and my tree that now looks it looked, you know, mighty and beautiful yesterday. Now I look at it, I'm like, ugh, there's no presents underneath it. It's not all that pretty, you know. Hold on. Oh, I'm trying not to cover the camera. Whew, that's a burn. Burn, baby, burn. I got kitties. That's a mama. Um, m and laying over there. I'm snuggled over here with my blanket. Just looking at the Christmas lights. And my lonely pet pitiful tree. Hold on. I'm gonna show you. Since I can't turn the phone around, because I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, but now that I get under the tree, it just looks. Sorry, I'm making you see sick. You know, it looks a little pitiful. Um, but, so, yep. Um, and all that hustle and bustle and stress was over and done with in the matter of, like, six hours. So my mom, like, feels like, I'm like, that's what a wedding must feel like. Like... You spend, you know, 20000 or or more, because I know plenty of people who have paid more than that on a wedding to have a party for your friends for six hours. I don't think I ever want to do that. Unless I marry a billionaire, then what the hell? Why not? It's just money. Mine. But when it's not just money, and it's, he, excuse me, he's not a billionaire, you know, if I don't have, if I already have a house, and maybe even if not, if I had twenty thousand dollars to spend on a wedding, I would see. Now it looks to me like it's a little blurry, huh? If I'm blurry, I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't know how those contacts are doing with distance. I think it's it's a little much. Okay. Anyway. Or not enough, that's what I mean. So, oh, it burns. Um, I, if I had $20,000 to spend on a wedding, I would rather take the 10 people I love the most on an amazing vacation to like Tahiti or Bali or some ticket to paradise. I just watched that movie, by the way. Um, and it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, like, amazing, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't, like, notebook, but I've seen worse. Um, anyway, sorry. Distracted by the lights again. Um, yeah, so that is my thought. Like, if I could afford it, and if I'm going to spend $20,000 to have a party with 100 people, I'd rather spend $20,000 and have a week long vacation where I can treat the 10 most people or, 
you know, roundabout, most amount of people that I love the most. Uh, those people are the people that deserve it and, you know, that I want to spend that time with. If you, you know what I mean? I don't know. I would just say however many people that it ended up being, you know, whether it be 10 or 15 people, I take that $20,000 and take those people with me. Like, let's go on an amazing vacation. And while I'm there, I'll tie the knot. And hey, anybody else who wants to come and pay for yourself, you are more than welcome. This is what we do. So, that's my thought on weddings. <laughs> so, to my point was that, you know, and especially us moms, we wanted to be perfect. Whether it be our in-laws, our parents, our neighbors, our friends, we still wanted to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect, first of all. And second of all, I'll take damn near close. It doesn't need to be perfect. You know, I was stressing about my house not being, you know, immaculate. But at the end of the day, I did all the things I would have done. Maybe not to the best of my ability. I might have taken a little bit more time and made sure, to, you know, my dad laying on my kitchen floor to look underneath my fridge wasn't going to venture to anything dangerous, which it didn't. But, you know, I'm sure there were dust bunnies under there the size of fucking China. Sorry. Um, do I drink? So, yeah. In the end of the day, everything was perfect. Uh, maybe not perfect, but it was fine. It was fine. My mom said that to me today. I was like, blah, 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 blah. She's like, you'll be fine. I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> like, so, you know, I'm aware of that now, just so you know. Um, but you're right. In the end of the day, it's going to be fine. You know, no matter what it is. And unfortunately, I didn't get to hang out with my besties today. Um, you know, life happens. In an ideal world, I would have had Sherry here with us and we would have been just hanging in. Cheers to Sherry. Um, yeah, that would have made my day perfect. Mm. But unfortunately, we can't do that. Uh, I, I need sleep. So I am most looking forward to sleeping. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go have finish my drink. I might even pour a little bit now that more and take it to my room with me. I'm gonna, I got a new TV for Christmas. I'm gonna lay in bed. I gotta take my contacts out so I can put my glasses, excuse me, glasses on to see the TV. Um, so yeah, the whole idea was the contacts that I wouldn't, if these work out, I won't have to wear glasses at all, not for distance or for up close. Um, and they definitely work for up close. They, yeah, they do. I was like, well, you know, I'm like, not really. Like, sometimes if there's, like, fine print, like, now is not a good example because it's dark as hell in here. Uh, you know, I might have to hold it a little further away. I'm like, but it's not like I'm holding it in China. It's like, yeah, I don't know, probably, like, eight inches from my face. Ten, whatever. Sorry. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I hope the new year can only be better. Um, you know, whatever your wishes and your dreams are, I hope they come through, come true. And if Christmas isn't your thing, I'm sorry I have rented on for 20 minutes about Christmas. Um, if you're still with me, God love you and I love you too. And if Christmas isn't your thing, and maybe you're alone this year or you've lost somebody you love. My heart goes out to you. I am not looking forward to the day when I have to face that. Um, I, I've lost loved ones, but not a person I saw on an everyday basis. You know, I think that kind of person is different. 
you know. So, I don't know what that feels like and I'm not looking forward to it, but may you find some peace, you know, whether it be in the memories or knowing that they're not sick you know, and knowing that they would want nothing but happiness for you. Um, and everybody should have peace and happiness and be fulfilled in the new year. That's my wish for you guys. I'm going to stop rambling now because it seems like it's been forever. And if I edit this, I'm probably going to have to edit out a lot. <laughs> So, I say cheers, I say Merry Christmas, uh, and stay wicked awesome. We love you. Peace out.